We will begin uh, with candidates for presiding commissioner, Noah Prallo, uh, Nick Plummer, Ken Roten, and Alex McCauley. If you'll please come on up, we will go ahead and get started. Beginning with candidates for presiding commissioner, and uh, um, um, uh, Ken, we will begin with you, Thank you and work our way down for this question. The question is, can you describe for us what your responsibilities would be as presiding commissioner? Presiding commissioner is uh, commonly referred to as a tiebreaker. We have the Eastern commissioner and a Western commissioner. Of course, they uh, are working for their each respective districts. It's up to the presiding commissioner to take a fair approach and decide what is best for all of Taney County. Uh, of the candidates in this race. I believe I have the best understanding of both sides of the county, how they complement each, each side, and how uh, we could enhance the ability for all of us to work together. Thank you. <clears throat> and uh, Nick Plummer, go ahead. Yes, uh, so I would echo most of what Ken said there, uh, but my position is a little different uh, than other people. I wasn't a Branson o business owner. We live in Kirbyville. Uh, our business was based out of Branson and Forsyth and Kirbyville uh, most of my life. So I know what it is to know the difference between the east side and the west side. We have more agricultural sit standing on the east side and a business district on the west side that generates most of our tax revenue base. Uh, that is something that whoever gets this job needs to understand and needs to be unbiased as per which side they want to focus on. Because uh, everybody in our com community is equally as important. So, Noah, thank you so much. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, you know, Ken and Nick kind of hit the nail on the head with um, you know, obviously you're representing the whole county, and so you got to keep both sides of the county in mind. Um, I'm a real estate agent here in in the area, and so I'm constantly all over every corner of the county, and so I feel like I have a good understanding of both sides of the county, um, but then. Additionally, one of the biggest responsibilities of, of the commission in general, and that kind of falls on the presiding commissioner as well, is uh, the budget for the county. And so um, that being one of your main jobs of the county, I think it's important to have someone who who has accounting experience, who has bookkeeping experience, uh, and, and I do bring that to the table. So I'm used to looking at budgets, numbers, and uh, you know, being fiscally responsible, I think, is something that we absolutely need to do uh, in Taney County. And Alex. I believe everybody's given us a very adequate definition of what the responsibilities of a commissioner are as far as representing uh, the presiding commissioner representing the interests of both halves of Taney County um, and making sure the budgets are uh, within uh, order and uh, what we also need to be making sure of is that uh, I guess it's politically called pork barrel doesn't uh, sneak its way into our budgets. We need to be responsible as to how that money is spent. And uh, I guess that's all I'm. Thank you. Thank you all. Uh, on our next question, uh, we will begin with Nick okay. and work this way. <clears throat> Why is it important for you to fill this role for Taney County? Do you mind if I stand? I feel better when I address people that I stand and give you my full attention. <laughs> you can do that. Okay. Uh, so repeat the question there. Sorry, I was busy talking. Okay. Why is it important for you to fill this role for Taney County? Okay, so the importance of me fulfilling this role is, uh, you know, I was born and raised here. Uh, I know the area. I realize some of the other people have been here. They've traveled the roads. Uh, I've lived these streets. I know the people that live here. I know the criteria uh, and how people live in Taney County. And I feel like it's an important role for whoever we choose to understand people on both sides of the county. It is so important that we are able to communicate with those people, whether it's business owners, land developers in Branson, or once again, I keep referring back to the east and west side, but that, that's what this job requires is somebody that is knowledgeable about the people of Taney County. Thank you. And uh, Noah. Yeah, absolutely. I think, I think um, 
what's absolutely important, um, excuse, excuse me, um, what's absolutely important about me having the job as, as Taney County Presiding Commissioner uh, is that uh, we need, I'm so sorry, I'm having a brain fart here, guys. <laughs> Give me a second to collect myself. Um, we need to have someone uh, as presiding commissioner. Um, gosh, man, I'm better than this. I'm sorry, guys. Um, could you repeat the question one yes, more time? Yes, absolutely. <clears throat> Why is it important for you to fill this role for Taney County? Yeah, absolutely. Okay, now, now I got what I was going to say. I don't know why that just whooped right out of my mind. But we need someone who has a firm uh, understanding of what the proper role of government is. Um, you know, we have state statutes that guide the county commission. Um, we have the state constitution and we have the federal constitution. And I believe I have the greatest understanding uh, and have done the most study of what the proper role of government is. First and foremost, we need to protect everybody's rights. And, you know, I, I kind of don't like referring to people of Eastern and Western Taney County because we're Taney County, we're one county. And so we need to care about the rights and protect the rights of all people in Taney County. And I believe I have the, the greatest understanding of the statutes, uh, the con state constitution and the federal constitution to be able to stay in government's lane, keep a government in government's lane and, and stay out of people's business. And Alex, my uh, my uh, as far as I'm concerned, if I get in as commissioner, I'm going to be standing in the way of a lot of government legalized plunder that's coming from federal the federal level. We are representatives of the people, and we are here to protect your rights to life, liberty, and property. And there's a lot of federal legislation coming down the pike that is going to violate those, those uh, rights. And that is my goal. And Ken. I believe the reason that I should be elected is Government should be ran like a business. Government should be held accountable. Government should have a plan, a plan that the people can have access to and look at at any given time so that government can be held accountable. Someone who has the business experience, the previous public service experience. Uh, if you'll check, uh, folks, uh, I've been blessed. I've, I've had opportunities to serve the school board. I've served on water district board. Uh, one of my proudest uh, points of service was chairman of the board for regional sewer district when we were able to get the sales tax passed that helped to begin central sewering Taney County. I found out last week there's been over 4,000 septic tanks either taken offline or new permits that were connected to a wastewater treatment plant instead of a, a, a septic tank. When you're in, when tourism is your driving engine for economic uh, uh, going forward, Clean water is a must. Someone who can answer the hard questions, someone who can make the meetings, can pursue uh, the grants and the things from the state and from the federal government. Someone who understands how those things work. And I suggest to you, ladies and gentlemen, I'm, I'm that gentleman. I, I long to, to serve Taney County in this capacity. For our next question, uh, we will begin with Noah move to Alex, then Ken, and, uh, and then Nick. <clears throat> the question is, how do you define fiscal responsibility? Yeah, absolutely. Fiscal responsibility, simply put, is spending within your means. Uh, staying, with, staying within your budget. You, you're not spending more than you're bringing in. Uh, on top of that, I would, I, would, I would say, obviously, you can spend within your means and spend on you know, silly things. So uh, I, I think part of fiscal responsibility is the responsibility part of, hey, let's make good decisions. Uh, does it make uh, more sense to, you know, I don't know, to, to get more deputies or do something else? You know, just to, you know, for example, of what we need to do in the county, uh, what's going to impact people more uh, and, and in what way? So you got to stay within your budget. And then you also got to make smart choices about where you allocate that money. Because not everybody's going to get everything that they want. And honestly, that's, that's the, probably going to be the hardest part of the job is telling somebody at some department, I'm, I'm sorry, we don't have enough money for everything that you want to do. It can be good. It can be great. But at the end of the day, 
we, we have to spend within our means. In my opinion, fiscal responsibility is knowing what the government is supposed to be doing for you and making sure that all offices uh, continue running that uh, meet that criterion. Um, we've got a lot of offices in county government that are not enumerated either on a lead, uh, representative or an executive responsibility under our constitution and those could be privatized. Ken. Fiscal responsibility, again, means living within your means. Uh, economics is pretty simple, whether it's your household budget, your business budget or government budget, it's really simple. When your outgo is more than your income, your upkeep will be your downfall. It's just that simple. You have to stay on task. You have to be a, a fair-minded person that looks at the issues, what's beneficial for all of the patrons of Taney County, and then appropriate the funding in those directions. That's fiscal responsibility. Uh, so once again, it's, it is living within your means, but it's also knowing uh, your department heads and knowing what their needs are, having good relationships with the people that are running this county, uh, the other elected officials, uh, because, you know, it's real easy to set in a position when you're holding the money and say, well, you don't need that. But if you don't know those department heads and you don't have a personal relationship with those people, it's hard to make decisions for people when you don't know them personally. Uh, and I think that is one of my biggest goals at this job is I want relationships between our county leaders and I don't want walls. I want open doors and I want communication. That's what I desire. And I'm sorry, I'm getting a little fired up now. I'm not real good at public speaking, but tonight I'm fired up. And, and that's really what it's gonna take is somebody that is dedicated and their heart is in this job. Uh, I'm shaking. I'm so fired up about it. And that's what we need. Uh, there's just no two ways about it. Uh, that's who I am. And that, that's what we're going for. For this fourth question, uh, we will begin with Alex, then to Ken. This office can involve communication with and across several private and public sectors. How are you prepared to step into that role? I enjoy coordinating efforts of people to provide services that they that we need to protect our rights to allocate funds for making this possible and I also believe that we need someone that can stand up to people to make sure that those rights are being protected. And that is, um, I think that that's the way that I answer that question. Thank you. Ken? Repeat the question, please. Absolutely. This office can involve communication with and across several private and public sectors. How are you prepared to step into that role? With previous public service, I already have many of those relationships with the mayors and the city council people. Uh, not letting personal relationships cloud my judgment when it comes to funding and making decisions uh, with any given department. I think it's important as as public servants that we learn to control our emotion and we, we, we uh, deal as a level head and, and maintain control uh, with relationships throughout the county. My, my desire is to also have an open door. I, I wanna be the commissioner that when somebody in Taneyville or Cedar Creek or uh, Hollister, Branson, wherever they're on the county can pick the phone up and call me, I'll, I'll take your call. I, I have positioned myself where I am retired this will be my full-time job. I will be available. I don't have any other interest. This is, again, my heart's desire to serve in this capacity. All right. Uh, so once again, uh, I'll refer back to my experience in the county. Uh, so I serve as a mechanic, and that gives me a relationship with 
many different people in the community. Uh, that also has given me an opportunity to serve on our school board where our kids attend, and that has opened up doors and given me much knowledge of big budgets, and that gives me an opportunity to deal with people on a different level, because I'm not just talking with people about county business. You have to talk to people about school business, uh, because our collector and everyone that works in that capacity, we're funding schools. So I feel like I would be a good person for this position. I understand the infrastructure in our county and what's needed to make that happen. Yeah, absolutely. I think communication is 100% is key to the job. I mean, my current job as a real estate agent, I mean, that's basically what I do all day is coordinate between people, between the buyers, between the sellers, between the title company, between the bank. You, you guys have been through real estate transactions before. That's that's my job right now is to coordinate and, and uh, you know, speak and, and get things to the finish line uh, in one piece that, and that they don't fall apart. So I'm used to communicating across multiple different entities at the same time. Uh, and I feel like I'd be able to step into that gap and function uh, you know, without missing a beat uh, in terms of the you know, coordinating between people. So absolutely. And uh, I sure would appreciate your guys' support. Thank you all so much. This does actually conclude the uh, presiding commissioner's questions. Thank you.